Hi everyone, how's it going? So this is a really simple nail tutorial actually and it's inspired by the royal wedding. I basically kind of recreated Diana's Princess Diana's ring on the ring finger and did a little of uh, nothing too flashy on the rest of the nails but something still really pretty and regal. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to do this then just keep watching. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, my rhinestone wheel and I'm going to grab one of these bigger rhinestones. Um, and I think that one should work because we want to have space for rhinestones around it also. So we'll use that one. Okay, and I'm just going to paint this with a dark sort of sapphire blue and I'm going to be using Sally Hansen's Blue It. All right, and I'm just going to use a small little piece of sticky tack just to um, adhere it to this piece of paper, just so it's not moving around on me while I try and paint it. Okay, so we're just going to let that sit and dry while we continue on with the manicure. And I'm going to be using a detail brush. I'm going to be using this one. It's number 3 slash 0. I got it from Dessert. It's an art craft store. I'm going to be using China Glaze's Millennium. It's a nice sort of metallic-y gold. Sorry, passion. I don't know why I keep, I can never remember the name of this polish. And I'm just going to put a little dab of this on my scrap paper. We're going to just create a horizontal stripe across the middle of the nail. The next thing we're going to do is, is I'm going to grab a gold glitter. This is Sultry Diva by Color Club. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some of the gold glitter polish onto the sponge. It's pretty um, pigmented, which is why I'm using the sponge, because I don't want it to be super pigmented when I apply it. So I'm just going to dab it off a little. Now I'm going to apply this all over eat all of the nails, concentrating more at the tip, but we're not necessarily going for a fading effect. I just want a sort of lighter application of gold glitter. Okay. And we don't want too much drama on the other nails, so I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to use a, a coat of Disco Ball by Sally Hansen. And this is just sort of a multi-colored glitter. It's got some green and purple and pink. So it just adds a little more dimension to these as opposed to just the one glitter. I'm going to put a coat of that on our little rhinestone here as well. Just to give it a little extra glimmer. Okay, um, and because I did just apply nail polish on there, we actually, the next step is to apply this onto the nail, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I think I've let that dry enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some tweezers, and I'm going to apply this onto the ring finger. I'm going to adhere it using a clear polish. This is Invisible by Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a bunch of tiny rhinestones. Okay, so I am going to start on the top half here. I'm going to use some of the clear nail polish again. going to apply some clear polish um, on the other half around the sapphire, supposedly. <laughs> okay, and now that we have that done, the next thing we're going to do is apply some gold beads. And I'm going to apply these on the tip of each of the little uh, clear rhinestones. Um, so it's going to be kind of like a third layer. Kind of just like the ring. So do one there. Okay. 
Okay, and so that's the final design. I'm going to wait for this to dry before I apply my top coat, but yeah. This is the final nail design for my royal wedding inspired tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!